Yes, yeah, so these are world-leading facilities, uh, certainly for diffraction uh, and mass, mass spectrometry and uh, state-of-the-art stuff for nuclear magnetic resonance. So the, the research-based instruments we have are as high-powered and modern as you can get. Uh, we are in the process uh, of putting in place a teaching-based laboratory where we have uh, entry-level instruments that support all three of those techniques that are dedicated to the, this taught course so that students will uh, cut their teeth on the, in the teaching lab on these uh, sort of entry-level machines uh, and then through the course of the year they'll learn more about that technique and then start playing with the, uh, the research-based instruments. So we do have state-of-the-art uh, instrumentation. The, the National Crystallography Service uh, hosts uh, a facility with the, uh, the most powerful uh, instrument in the world for this kind of work. Uh, mass spectrometry has also state-of-the-art instrumentation across the board, so we have nine mass spectrometers, uh, and the university is also investing uh, in new NMR spectrometers, which will be installed just in time for this course to start. So every, every piece of core instrumentation uh, is brand new uh, and state-of-the-art or internationally world-leaning. Well, the, the facility management, so we're, we're not just aiming at uh, graduates who have come from a standard sort of BSc uh, route uh, through undergraduate. We're looking at uh, continuing professional development for those already in industry uh, and working out there and want to come back and learn specifically about these techniques. Uh, and also we're looking at people who wish to operate facilities of this nature. So we run a, a national centre and we're using that sort of expertise level to try and uh, get across the mess important messages of how one operates such a facility. And with, because we're doing that across the three techniques, uh, it provides anybody uh, in a, with the skills they need to run a such facility in a chemistry department. So we're, we're strongly looking at an overseas intake as well.